Hello Warfighters, War is Hell. This is definitely a different video than what I normally do. I've had a few people recently ask me how I go about making screenshots. So I thought it would be great to make a tutorial. So this is gonna be completely off the cuff, no script or anything like that. Um, but let me just start off by saying that I will probably make screenshots differently than a lot of other people do, which I think is totally fine. That's one of the things that I love about Arma. You're going to have multiple ways to be able to accomplish something and you can personalize it to you. So keeping that in mind, if you see something that I do that I could do more easily, or if you have any pointers, please put that in the comment section below. Uh, and if you are obviously new to screenshots, I would definitely recommend checking out that comment section to see if anybody has posted anything that I might have missed or might make things easier for you than kind of how I'm showing some stuff. Now, I firmly believe in uh, the power of making screenshots, I guess is the best way to put it. I love going to the Arma subreddit and just taking a look on Twitter and seeing what other people and units and stuff like that have posted it's cool to see, and I think it's a great way to uh, help share some of the moments that you can make in Arma. So keep in mind, I am not nearly as good as making screenshots as some of the people that are out there who dedicate their time in Arma to making screenshots. I know that for me, um, when I think of screenshots, I usually think of like, you know, Green Fist, uh, Farsight, Whiplash, Dragonfly Gaming. I mean, these guys and many others are like legendary in my mind when it comes to this stuff. So uh, I won't, of course, be showing you how to do stuff as well as they do because I'm not anywhere near that level. But basics, you'll probably get that out of this video. Now, what I'm showing you guys right now is some of the mods that can be used to help make screenshots. I'll kind of go through a few of these just to show you how they are used and uh, what I kind of use it for. So the first one here is Blast Core Edited. I feel like that Blast Core does a lot with really helping out in visuals as you're playing the game. Things like smoke, particles, explosions, all of that seems to look a lot better with Blast Core than what you find with vanilla. No knock on BI, but this mod kind of helps out quite a bit. So for visuals that include things like smoke and explosions, I highly recommend using Blast Core Edited. A lot of these mods though you're gonna be seeing are animations, um, poses, uh, things like that that will be used to uh, position your character in a way that might be beneficial for a particular screenshot. Now I load a whole bunch not knowing exactly what I'm gonna be going into the screenshot uh, with, but it's just nice having all these assets. Of course, there's probably some other ones. There might even be some in here that you can't really necessarily use, but uh, just know that if you look for like Whiplash's static animations, you know, if you look static animations, if you search for poses, things like that in the Steam Workshop, you will find a lot of these mods that are out there. This one is huge. Uh, Polpox's artwork supporter is insanely helpful when it comes to making screenshots. I even haven't leveraged all of the things that you can do with Polpox's artwork supporter, but I highly recommend getting that. Recolor is gonna be very nice. It almost, I mean, it changes the color of the screen. It's almost like you're putting a um, like a filter over your game. Again, I will show you that. And then in enhanced, this is kind of habit just for me to put uh, in here. If I'm ever going to be in the editor, I like using Edit Enhanced. So this might be one you probably don't even need, but it's just a habit for me to put stuff in there. Again, a lot of different um, stuff that you could do. If you're gonna be doing video, I recommend like Gcam, but we're gonna be sticking specifically with screenshots right here. So I'm gonna hit play and we're gonna load up the game. Okay, so here we are inside of the editor. I'm just going with vanilla assets. Of course you can use, you know, like your RHS, whatever you end up using uh, to give you the assets that you want for your screenshot, your loadout, all of that type of stuff. But again, we're just, for the sake of simplicity, we're gonna be doing this on Stratus with Arma 3 Vanilla Assets. Okay, so there's a couple different things that you can do. I'm just gonna go ahead and set down a Grenadier here. And remember, you can easily just go into edit loadout, change anything that you want. For example, 
you know, maybe I don't want him to have these NVGs. So there we go. We've gone ahead and removed that. Now, I've seen a lot of screenshots of somebody just standing there in the vanilla uh, poses or seeing people running. Just stuff that you would typically see in the game. In my opinion, that's not the stuff that I think is or creates the best screenshots, if that's right. It's really those static animations and those poses that you saw just a little bit ago in my mod list that I think really helps with uh, the game or with the, the screenshot that you're trying to make. So with Polpox's artwork creator, you can press um, Control Q and this will load up here. And basically what this does is it shows you all of the animations that uh, you kind of have loaded up in here. There's going to be some like these ones up here that are just from the base game. And, you know, you'll find some good stuff in here. I mean, as you scroll down to, you'll see some that are like actual animations. But since we're working with screenshots, not something that I think is going to be too applicable to what you're going to want to do okay so usually closer to the top you will find the uh, animations and the static poses that you loaded in here and really what you could do is it will show you what you kind of have going and so you can start to go through this and find the type of poses that you want okay so let's go to All right, here we go. You see there's, I mean, that dude's taking a piss in case you didn't notice. Um, But yeah, so say we've got, you know, this guy right here. He's just chilling out. And we're going to press, we like W stand 16. So thanks, Whiplash. We'll copy that by hitting Control C. Remember, Control Q to get into this. Control C to copy what you want. And then you click on the person, control E. Yep, load that up. And then what's nice about this is when we can just go over here and we can move him to right here. So it looks like he's just resting up on that building. We can select an auto rifleman. Let's make sure he's not joined. We'll do the same thing, control Q. to open up pull boxes animations viewer and we can maybe pick something else here too um and honestly with a lot of this it's really i mean it can get time consuming to kind of go through some of these so it is good occasionally to have an idea of what you want to do and the type of scene that you're wanting to create. I mean, obviously, we're going to be doing something here that's more laid back. So we're going to do Control C again for sit. Press Escape to get out of it. Control E. We'll just go ahead and see if we can use like a wooden crate or something like that. Maybe we'll just give him a chair. I don't know. And put him on that. But hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm getting at here. And so then I can just basically go in with this civilian. I'll show you a couple of other things here real quick too. Uh, this will kind of show you a little bit about recolor and then just actually taking the images. So escape open up the camera and then Polpox has this more advanced uh, camera that you can get access to. This allows you to be able to do things like if you want to put, you know, the Arma logo, stuff like that up there, you know, there's just Arma three. You could choose obviously what area you want it to be in, um, what size you want. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that you can do in this particular area. So vignette, stuff like that anyway so using recolor which it's hard to see right here is the icon for recolor and so this is a cool thing to be able to do remember I said this is kind of like adding a filter to things so 
you know, you're real as brown, black and white, Mediterranean, um, day, all that. You can, of course, go ahead and adjust things manually too if you want, just to kind of find the uh, setting that might look good for you. So let's just stick with, uh, let's just go with day. You can see kind of what the difference is. Seems a little more gray. You've got more probably contrast and stuff like that. No, contrast is the same. I guess it is just brightness uh, amongst some other things, obviously. But anyway, so we'll just hit OK. We are in that. And then a lot of people think that you're good to go. Uh, one thing that I recommend too, since you are taking a screenshot, you don't have to care so much about frames. So just going into your video settings, maybe setting a visibility that's a lot higher than what you have. So that way you don't get the, um, you know, the, the fog, stuff like that, you know, turning your object all the way, uh, your object visibility up all the way and then changing, you know, your stuff to ultra, um, Everything in here, you know, you can go ahead and, and adjust too. So that way you get the best quality picture. So even if you have a terrible computer and you usually don't play Arma on the best settings, you can go ahead and just switch stuff here. Okay. So just some quick controls that you have in the camera that end up mattering quite a bit is plus on uh, your number pad to the right of your keyboard will zoom you in. Minus will zoom you out. You can do control and right click and if you go left or right it'll tilt your camera too i don't do too much obviously with scroll wheel but uh, usually i'll just plus minus wasd to kind of move around you'll see a lot of this stuff obviously right up here for controls that you can use but a lot of it's pretty self-explanatory then in the bottom right you've got this area i will obviously adjust focus to kind of make it look clear and then you click to make that background go away you can adjust some more things here as well uh, time I'll kind of adjust some things too like if I'm doing a shot that includes like ordinance and stuff just so that way things can happen at the time that I want it to so you press backspace to get a clear screen you press your f12 for steam and there you go. You got a screenshot. It's not necessarily, of course, the best that you're going to see out there, but for me and what I might do, that'll be helpful. Let me give you some pointers, though, because uh, it's not, I mean, I find that the best screenshots are not as easy as that. There's a few things that you definitely want to consider. One is lighting. Like, I highly recommend if you're wanting to get into screenshots to just watch a very, very brief uh, very simple photography video just kind of get introduced to some of the things like the the rule of thirds I think is what it's called um, you know knowing what lighting is is good and then also understanding that there is problems with Arma screenshots that you have because you're wearing camouflage so uh, let's switch it up here let's go to Tanoa And if I'm doing something inside of the jungle here with my tropical multicam, then it's going to be difficult for me to really spot. I feel like, you know, when I'm doing thumbnails and things like that, uh, where the people that I am trying to, to showcase, like it's hard to see them. Let me show you here. Um, again, we'll go with a, a grenadier. Now up close, it might look pretty easy to see that person, but obviously camouflage is meant so that way it's not easy to see somebody amongst everything around them. So here's some things that I like to do to kind of add some more contrast to what is going on um, and it will allow you to better see the individual. So we're just going to move out here to make it easier. So again, we'll just go auto rifleman, Grenadier, um, uh, actually, crap. We'll make these guys running. So control Q, we'll do sprint, because you can search in here and you'll see 
there's a few different ones that you can use. Um, control C, escape, control E. Um, control Q after clicking on him. A lot of times you're gonna see, even though your individual doesn't have a, uh, like a rocket launcher RPG, it's still going to be over here. That just shows you if he were to have that asset, what it would look like. Um, we'll just choose another just random sprint out of here. Okay. Even though he's kind of grasping the weapon there, I think that's good. Okay, again, control Q or control C, escape, control E. Now, even from right here, I mean the green that you see, it blends in with the grass very well. So some pointers that I will do is sometimes I'll just move the camera down a little bit lower so that way, you know, you have the sky kind of showing up behind him so you can see a better outline of the person and they're not quite as camouflaged. Another thing I like to do though too is adding a smoke grenade to it. So, and I'll intentionally do something that will cause a lot of contrast. Like right here, using a green smoke, probably not the best idea. But if I were gonna use say blue or something, Permanent effect, yeah, let's go ahead and enable it. This will kind of do something similar to what we were seeing with this guy. So I'll just do this, play as the character. And then we'll go into the camera. Zoom in with the plus button. Look, get the time accelerated here. And then we'll stop it. And see, here's here's something that you could use as a screenshot that helps you better see the, in actually let me focus because that's gonna bother me. Because you can better see the individuals with the blue background as opposed to the green that you would probably see with these trees back here. Okay, so that's one thing that I will do. Here's another thing that I will do. I will yeah, get out of here. We don't need you anymore. Attributes, um, enable damage, we'll turn that off. And I'll go effects, ordinance. I think it's okay. Yeah, I like to do the 155. Now that might be too close to him, but wait for the call. Cool. And so this will be another way that I kind of break it up. You can see with, uh, the explosions and stuff in the background. You kind of have the dirty look up here. This could make a pretty cool screenshot as well, I feel like. Um, so that's another thing that I personally like to do to kind of set the contrast of the individuals against the background a little bit better. And keep in mind too that um, how you go about creating additional things besides the people in the screenshot are going to be important. You can do things like, let's go ahead and add a, um, helicopter. We'll just say a ghost talk right here. What we're going to do for this is under the attribute section, we are going to set this, uh, we're going to turn off enable simulation. This way it will just remain static. We could do things like going up here to the rotation widget. We can have it go back a little bit. We can raise it up. So that way you get the effect that, you know, they're landing or they're just taking off. I mean, there's a lot that you can do with these types of objects. 
And then with um, with this two, obviously you can go up here to Intel. You can set time of day. It's not easy to be able to to see here at night. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll we'll put in a hunter. Let's actually, oops. Go down here and enable headlights. Oh, wow, that doesn't look too good with him right there. See what it looks like, though, as we actually go into it. So a lot of screenshots is actually just full trial and error. Uh, you might find something that you like that you don't. Like even right here. You know, that's, I don't think that necessarily looks the best, but this gives you an idea on some of the stuff that you can do with, with screenshots. I mean, again, control, right click and tilt, you know, you can do stuff like that. But again, there's so many different animations that you can, you can do. I recommend going through the different animations that you select for your mods. And just looking at the preview so that way you can get an idea of what you want. Essentially, a lot of these screenshots will be many stories that you tell. So there's two things I've noticed with screenshots, though, and, and developing them that can be helpful. One is putting a lot of detail into this. And this is where I see a lot of the people who make some really, really great Arma screenshots You know, will do. They'll go into you know, props, and then I think there's like, um, like camp, okay, here we go. Yeah, so there's like, you know, medical garbage and stuff like that. You know, they'll, they'll put on the ground, maybe they'll separate this out. You can do stuff like, you know, blood and everything, uh, large pool of blood, and you could do this I will not do deck crew that doesn't heavy gunner sorry dude uh, control Q sorry I'm trying to do this really really quick and then dead and you'll you'll notice these keywords and stuff like that too as you keep searching through stuff Okay, we'll just use this one. And then control E. Okay, so like they'll put some detail and stuff in here, kind of like this, just showing, okay, this person has died, but you can see that they tried to treat him. Um, maybe you post somebody right here, same thing. Um, you're sitting. Um. Okay, dang it, where was it? See, this is the thing. Like, I'll go through it and I'll find like stuff that I like. Control C, Control E, and so this one's like you know, sits over his dead friend that he tries to save, you know, so you're, you're kind of telling a story right here. But there are times too, where I've seen just minimalism has, has been pretty cool too. Like, um, you could post something. I'm trying to find a good spot here. Like maybe a person, uh, I don't know why I keep picking grenadier. And stand. Actually, 
you know what? J we're we're doing this. I'm getting like too picky. I could be a professional a perfectionist with this sometimes. Um, but you could do something like you know, something like this where a person's just looking off on the horizon or something like that. And that can be an amazing screenshot and stuff like that too. I mean, this obviously I would not call amazing, but hopefully this just gives you an idea of, you know, you don't have to always do something really, really complicated for it to look good. I think even what's included in like your tweet, whatever you use to kind of showcase and talk about what you're doing is also an equal part of the screenshot because again it's all about telling the story and the picture is just a part of that um i would recommend looking at polpox's artwork creator in more detail you can even go and do some things and this is something that i i probably should do a little bit more but uh as we go through some of these animations and static poses that you have access to there are some that, you know, like let's say for, um, actually I need to be careful. So say you just had this one. I don't know if it's necessarily true, but with Polpox's artwork creator, you can actually make it to where he's in this animation and he's firing his weapon. So that can be helpful also for making good screenshots if you have people who are firing uh, their weapon. So, uh, yeah, just kind of keep that in mind as you're doing some stuff too. But again, that's how I do screenshots. Super easy. Uh, kind of after you've done it a few times and you know some of these uh, things really, really well just because you've done it over and over again. But I recommend just experimenting, trying some things out, posting it on the Arma Reddit or, or on the Arma subreddit or on Twitter and just seeing what kind of feedback that you get from things. Try different genres, try doing things that you like so that way you can be the type of creator of screenshots you know, that you enjoy doing. And I look forward to seeing what some of you guys put out there. Again, comment section if there's something that you guys felt I could do differently or you know of a pointer that I didn't mention. Um, and also check those comments below too. If you guys like me doing stuff like this, where I just kind of give you a quick tutorial on how I do things, just let me know about that too. Uh, maybe I can, you know, kind of do this from time to time on a number of other things, but thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. War as hell. You don't have to worry because war fighters, I've got your six.